Hey guys, my name is Extra Tips, and welcome to my order block video. So this is going to be a video covering a simplified version of order blocks. I'm not going to be giving you that explanation stuff. This is just going to be giving you some rules and tips when you're using order blocks. So let's go to begin. So on the screen, you can see two different types of order blocks I like to trade. One is where we retest to the height of the leg, and one is where we retest at the bottom of the leg. Now, what I mean by leg, I mean the market structure. So for example, one leg of market structure is when we break a high or a low. We can see these bottom and top points are the leg. Let's look at market structure. So which one of these two is better? So, well, let's analyze a little bit. So we can see right here, price on this one has already been respected. So on this order block, we never closed above the body. So that's my step in rule number one is if we look at a order block, we need to see a strong candle in the opposite direction of your trend and a weaker candle in the direction of your trend that you're looking to take the trade. So we see we have this weaker red candle and strong green candle. We can see we're seeing clean candlesticks and strong movements throughout this trade. Now also focus and be careful because you wanna make sure this is somewhat align with your higher time frame okay but for this specific trade we can see the price did not work above this order block so this could have been a potential trade entry right here now on two this doesn't mean number two is any worse of an entry this is just a different type of entry for people these are for people that like more of a retest into the structure so for this one in particular, what's very strong about this idea and concept is we have two gaps. When two gaps is left, that leaves us a lot of volume and a lot of orders to take liquidity. And that liquidity we can use to continue the trend further down. Now, again, it's also important to make sure that we don't close above this area, right? We do not want to see price close above this body, first of all, and preferably in this case, when it retests back up here, we wanna see, make sure the close is at the bottom of the body, okay? Not the wick, the body. Now, if you look at the lower time frames, then you can also use those to make sure there was not a separate order block formed beside the structure. So I'll show you what that means in a second. So yes, both of these are valid order block entries. So because they're both valid order block entries, we can use both of them in the concepts. Now there's three important things when it comes to entering, is making sure you know market structure. This will simplify your trading a lot more and make trading a lot easier for you. It's a very simple thing for beginners to learn and it's something that you can always add to whatever you're trading. So the second thing is making sure that you're trading in the order of the trend, making sure it's a strong trend, okay? The final thing is you need to make sure the body does not close, okay, above the weaker candle um, that's in the trend of your direction. So we do not want to see this body close. It does not matter what the wicks are doing, okay? But if you're looking on, for example, in my case, the 15-minute time frame, you do not want to see those bodies close above. Now on the lower time frames, they could do something totally different. So if you're trading on the hour, maybe the five minute is giving you a, high, a sign that you're going higher. But if that 15 minute close is below, that gives you your overall entry. Remember the trend follows the higher time frame, not the lower time frame. So let's move and delete all this. And let's turn on our chart. So we can see on our chart right now that we have created a lower low. Now, what do I mean by that? Now on the overall structure, we can see that price had this high, we had this low right here, and we had this new high, okay? So the reason I said this lower low has been created because this is technically our previous low right there. The lower low has been created because I'm looking at minor market structure, the structure appearing within this price. So we see this structure appears and we create a lower high and then we create this lower low now what do we notice right here on price this lower low was created with force we had strong movements down right here and we have a strong green candle against our trend and a weaker red candle so when this happens we can again draw a price like this now this counts as an order block now we want to see the opposite occur. We want to see that stronger red candle occur, or at the very least, a close that does not higher than the body of that 
this red candle right here. So let's see exactly what happens. We see how we respect this. Now, your stop loss can be whatever you want. For me, I recommend three different types of things. One, you can have your stop loss above the last leg. So our last leg is this previous high. Two, you can have your stop loss above the order block area. Three, you can have it where the above the box of the body. Now, depending on your risk tolerance, you want to make that decision for yourself. Okay. So next, we're looking for price to continue down. So if we have this trade, and I'm just going to take a sell as an example, where can we see price work down to? So if I zoom in right here, what do we see? Well, we actually see another order block formed. So if I draw over here, we see how price has respected this. Now, this is another example of what we just saw right there, right? Where price did not close below this body once we broke above it. So this was the break candle, and then this is the candle that is not closing above the body. So this could have technically been another trade in this case because we had such a strong movement. I would always recommend just putting it below the wick of the candle and continuing the trade upwards, okay? So three things. Market structure shift. Did we have this for this last trade? Yes. Two, did we see it respect the body of the candles? Yes. Three, are we seeing a strong trend being created? Yes, we see strong candles being created right here. It's a clean looking trend. We don't have to go to a lower time frame in order to identify anything. So let's look at what happens. And again, we have our target down here. And we can see how that hit our target right there or got close to it, okay? So next, what do we wanna see, okay? Well, we wanna see the similar thing be created, all right? So let's see what is now gonna be created. So what do we have here? Well, we have on this price right here, we have a fairly easy trend. So remember what I said when those two gaps are formulated, we have better order chances. So we have two gaps formulated right there. I'm like, that's good. That's showing strength in the movement of the trend. All right. Number two, where's our order block? Our order block is right here. Well, why is this our order block? Well, because we had this high low, we broke this above and then we broke straight back through it. Okay. So that's creating a strong order block. Three, we want to see a, the bodies close within this range. So let's see what happens. Oh, well, what happened here? Did the body close within the range? Yes. Yes, it did. Now, was there a huge body in the way? Yes. Yes, there was. This thing spiked up. It had a huge butt along with it. So with that butt, and with those maybes, you might have been thinking, oh, well, this just broke my order block. Why well, can't take this trade? No, it closed below this area. We actually saw a confirmation with the next candle, breaking that previous candle's um, green candle. So we can have said, let's take a close little trade here. Now, what do we want to target? All right. Well, we look down here. We've already broken this order block's range again right we close below it so what's the next area we can look for well we have a clean trend coming down into here so i would want to see price work its way to the last area where price broke out of so where is that necessarily so if we look at where we have a high which is at this wick right here this is the previous high where price broke out of and then we have this low and this is the previous low where price broke out of so with this high and low that we created, what do we have now? Well, we have where this candle closed above this uh, area over here. So where is the last candle that we had? We have right here. This is the last area where we've changed structure. So then we do we have that second criteria where we need to see that strong red candle, the weaker candle that's signifying in the trend we want to take? Well, yes, we have that as well. So. We have that as well. Do we see a market structure shift? Check. Do we see a strong trend? Check. The last thing we need to see is a close within this range. So let's see what happens. So let's see if price works its way down first of all. Now I wanted to point out something right here. Remember that market structure change that we had? We have this high, low, high, low. And you can see how it tried to get people out of that price. But because your stop was above here, you're still safe in this trade. 
So let's just let it continue. And look at that hard drop. And look what we did. Right here, we did not close below this box. So we could have actually, after we seen some confirmation or just right on it, we could have seen this trade go in. So I would personally wait because this candle was not that strong for a confirmation where we create a slight retest and break higher. And for me, I would have put my stop down here. And again, we target market structure. Now, market structure can appear on multiple time frames. A quick little trick is you do want to check a lower time frame because something like this can occur to where market structure already a market structure shifted. Yes, but these order blocks already occurred, right? We could see how this order block was already respected. And so the next one we want to target is over here because that was respected. So we could see how that was respected. That's our target. And we could see how the risk to reward was not favorable, but it still worked out. Hopefully this video was helpful for you identifying and simplifying the idea of order blocks and hopefully you can see it implemented into your daily strategy. I hope you guys have a great day.